Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the last match of the Dragon Warrior quarter file finals for the tournament 2019. I am Sparkover, and I am joined here by Ness Cardinality. It's wonderful to be here. We've got a heck of a matchup tonight. Mr. Holmes and Beta Strep vying for the last spot in the semifinals. This will be the final single elimination match of the entire bracket before we move on to best two out of three. Well, it'll still be single elimination. But this is uh, winner takes all for entry into the semifinals. It's going to be exciting. So the winner of this match is going on to face Lorgon. And looks like we've got a very nice packed house here tonight to watch these two racers. And I think it's going to be very exciting. What do you think, Nescard? I've been waiting for this one for a few days. And I was thrilled to hear that we have the opportunity to commentate yet another uh, potentially excellent match. Absolutely thrilled. Um... You can see, uh, we can't quite see the level 1 stats yet, which I kind of like at the moment, building a little bit of mystery. Ooh. But we do know that both players are taking strength HP, which is something that I expect uh, from everyone in the later matches, I think. I think I gave a little bit more ghost than mystery. I want a more of an ooh. I like seeing ghosts in the opening. <laughs> oh no! Are we going to see some ghosts in the opening? I wouldn't be surprised. Alright. There's a fair chance of finding them in the first zone. Yeah, I think so. But we don't know what their strength is. Ooh. We know what their strength is. We just don't know what the well, strength uh, is. That's what I meant by there. But yes, looks like our restreamer will be letting the racers go in about 30 seconds. So um, we're going to have some fun tonight. It's going to be great. Question in chat. Is this the last quarterfinal? Yes, it is. We have five racers remaining in this tournament. And after tonight, there will be four. We have up to NG and Thurwolf on the other side, and the winner of this match will face Lorgon next round. And again, as a reminder, after tonight, all races go into best of three, so there's going to be a lot of action. Anyway, our races are off. We will be seeing them going shortly. I'll be thrilled to see if there's any metagame in the semifinals. You have a little leeway to lose a game and still survive, and I'll be curious to see if that comes into play. And we are off. Descendant of Erdrix? I, I guess the Brust Descendants listening to the words. We've got Healy versus Tov. I like it. The battle of the creatures. Beautiful. And look, our stats are up thanks to our lovely tracker. And what items do we get? We start with Nice, the Cursed Belt, the Herb, and of course, the complimentary Magical Key. We can see our runners have no spells, 10 strength. Let's see what we get outside. No money, but they do have a Cursed Belt to potentially sell at a town to purchase a Copper Sword or even a club or a Bamboo Pole. And there is a town nearby, so of course both racers will instantly check it out. It is Breconary. Will there be a Copper Sword? Let's see what they can buy. The Curse Belt is essentially a free Copper Sword, and there is one. I also saw a Leather Armor and some larger items. And so that's it. Both players will start off with a 10 attack boost. Uh, Beta Strep just a little bit behind because he encountered a Blue Slime and it ran away. But uh, he'll be ready to conquer those with the Copper Sword shortly in just one attack. Shy little slimes. So one other fun piece of information, with our three search spots, we know that there is at least one of them, now two searchable spots, one with the armor for sure, and then either the token or the fairy flute is guaranteed to be in one of those search spots because we found one of the cursed belts. If we find another one, we'll know all three search spots are in play. So Mr. Holmes purchases the copper sword, and I apologize, go ahead. They both have copper swords and they're ready to grind. Uh, that information, I was going to say, is it can be really important. Uh, Mr. Holmes also having a, red, a blue slime runaway, and Beta Strip finds a red slime. And we're moving up enemy by enemy as Mr. Holmes finds the next enemy up on the chain, a Drakey. I wasn't aware that uh, scared blue slimes was an option in this randomizer. Oh gosh, so hi, we just learned that the Drakeys have hurt more. They're kind of biting back a little, and both runners at the same time find this out. You already can tell this race is going to be so epic. Amazing. All right, so we have a very tight lead here. Mr. Holmes ahead by one whole experience point, but they can't get the blue slimes to stay. But the Drakeys, <laughs> they can one-shot with that trusty copper sword as long as they don't do as little as four. So Beta Strep is the first to reach level two, and what do we get? Eight power, 12 agility, three HP, two MP, and the spell of Hurt. Uh, they are still weak enough that the Hurt spell is correct to use against uh, enemies that are basically magicians and higher. Meanwhile, Mr. Holmes also gets level two, gets the Hurt spell, and only now our HP is in the red, kind of dangerously low. 
Beta Strep already dipping out just one tile out of the first zone and finds an axe knight. Okay, everyone, please appreciate on Mr. Home screen that one swamp tile inside the mountains. That just looks like a quest item. Hi! Okay, so we have Metal Slime on Mr. Home screen, and can you see how much strength he has? It can't run! Mr. Holmes is gonna get this. This is a crazy advantage here. It can't oh, run. Oh, it can run. My apologies. It looks, I guess we were playing on scared metal slimes. I wasn't aware. But um, this one was a very brave metal slime and that catapults Mr. Holmes ahead to, what would this be, level six? Level six. So 19, 14, 11, 22, and well, I see hurt more, stop spell, and repel. Oh my gosh, so that's some very lucky then, I think. I don't know exactly how the Scared Metal Slimes work. I guess they can just have their normal odds of running, but that makes quite the lead for Mr. Holmes here. I'm just gonna go ahead and hope that Beta Strep defeats one soon. Uh, kudos to the runners for choosing Scared Metal Slimes. I like the spirit behind that option. Another thing that could somewhat equalize this is if Hurtmore does come at level three, Beta Strep will not take too long to get there. But either way, we know Hurtmore is coming very soon. Excellent move for Beta Strep on the Magician, and that'll give him level 3. We'll find out. Let's see what level 3 brings. Courage and Wit gives you... Oh, yeah, I just saw it line up on the tracker there. There is Hurtmore. So despite the Metal Slime gaining, that is sort of going to, you know, sort of... What's the word I'm looking for? Even things up here. Equalize. Yeah, equalize. You have the words. I am thrilled and relieved. I wanted this race to be epic, and getting Hurtmore at level 3 drastically increases the chances that it still will be. Yeah, because Hurtmore can take... Oh, I see a little cave on uh, Beta Strep's side. I don't yeah. know if he's noticed it, but... I can't tell if he's seen it or not, but he's intent on encountering something that he's seen in this zone. I... I... Did he see that he got Hurtmore? I mean, I would have used Hurt there if I didn't know I had Hurtmore. Though so he was low on health as well, so... Oh, you know what? He probably wanted a Death Warp. Either way, Mr. Holmes gets to the next level. I'm sorry, I missed the hit points, but we got some big, um, double HP and double MP results there. And Mr. Holmes does see the cave. We're heading towards it, and we get the Jerk. With, like, 6 agility, 13 HP, 19 MP. A very big level, and, of course, he's not concerned about power right now because he has hurt more. Uh, exploration is going to pan out. Beta Strep, of course, also peeking into the Jerk cave now. And Mr. Holmes, just in case, he's a little low on gold, opting to get a surplus just in case he finds something he wants to buy. There could be a town nearby with chain mail, for example. Yeah, and maybe he even just wanted to get something else in the in the Breckenry beside them. So there's a hurt more from Beta Strep, and we are on our way. Beta Strep reaches level four. Mr. Holmes did hurt more another gold man. I wonder if there is something particular in his mind that he really wants to get. Well, he's close to large shield money. I didn't get a close look at uh, the Breconary contents, so I'm not totally sure. It kind of zoomed by, and look, we've got another town on Mr. Holmes' side, but it's guarded by the Metal Scorpion, but with Hurtmore, that's really going to be no issue for him. Yeah, that's... Uh, I mean, he's found better enemies, but it's still a decent enemy. He's definitely going to take the Hurtmore. Meanwhile, Beta Strep finding an Axe Knight. Good chances to one-shot here, and he really wants it. He got it. And we've got the Town of Coal on Mr. Holmes' side. He doesn't buy anything from the weapon shop. Repel has lost its effect. This, by the way, is two levels at once for Beta Strep. He is only one level behind, and Eredric's armor for Mr. Holmes in Coal. And Beta Strep, Strep right behind. We'll be picking up that armor momentarily. Epic race, guys, I'm telling you. <laughs> Yeah, folks, we've got a good one here. Now, with both racers with the armor at about just under seven minutes in, now all of this swamp, we don't really need to worry about so much. I wonder how comfortable both players feel right now. Getting early hurt more, getting Eredric's armor, wondering if, you know, their opponent got it or not. We see Sherlock across that river, by the way, and Mr. Holmes has reached level eight. He had eight power, seven agility, zero HP. I think MTI likes that, and I did quite miss the MP, but... I think MTI really is well. about to explode. That's at least the third level that's had a zero. They've, they've been some good levels for him. So a red dragon sends Mr. Holmes back, just outside the big sea. Another cave on Beta Strip side over here. And look at that cute little island with that bridge. Very nice. It looks like this is... I assume tablet. 
And we've got Townsville over. I think one of those towns may have been Breckenry on Mr. Holmes' side, but the other one is Hawksnet. And with Hurtmore and the armor, well, he's definitely going to take a look and see what is over here. Beta Strip gets a, uh, pardon me, a werewolf for level seven. And there's the 061319. MTI gets to see the next, the MTI level yet again. And wow, an armored knight in Hawksness. Mr. Holmes could, I mean, his HP is, yeah, he got back attacked, so his HP is too low right now. Beta Strip also finds an armored knight and tries to run away. He can definitely survive this, though, if he doesn't get back attacked, and of course is able to get the two hurt mores. How much damage will Mr. Holmes take here? It was not enough to defeat him. He's got two HP left. And with the second hurt more connecting, we are going to find out what is on the search spot here. And he gets nothing. So therefore we know that the coordinates are in play. And therefore that also does mean that the either the fairy flute or the token is going to be in a chest. Indeed. So Beta Strep right behind actually finding Hawksness, and I feel like that's kind of a natural decision to make. If you die and go back home, then you will be able to see, oh, look at that swamp, I wish to go there. I predicted that if Mr. Holmes had enough HP to beat an armored knight to survive an attack, he would try and defeat at least one more. And I wouldn't be surprised if he goes for yet another right now. I think that's what he's going to do. And he did just get level 9. He got 7 power, 3 agility, 12 HP, and 4 MP, I believe, I saw on the way. Beta Strep unfortunately sent back by a Star River, and he has found Hawksness, though, and he will be back here, I assume. <coughs> Excuse me, yes, with it right beside the town, it's, um, or right beside Sherlock Tantagel Castle, rather, wow, locations, it's very easy to get to from here, and I think going to be a prime grind spot later on, unless we can find, like, the miracle in the Swamp Cave. Star Wyvern taking out Mr. Holmes, of course he wanted a death warp at this point, he's gonna get those valuable hurt mores back, and I suspect at this point he'll start exploring, now that he has over 50 HP, he's got a lot more mobility. So after we saw Sherlock, um, when the racers went, like, out and around, it's actually just straight up from Tantagel. How close. That's nice. What's not nice is that green dragon who, uh, dodged the hurt more from Beta Strap. Yeah, kind of rude. Oh my gosh, look at that cuteness right there. I do believe that is a Spark Over Bridge sighting. So Sparkover, what do you love so much about Sparkover Bridges? Well, I think it's just really adorable that they lead to one tile and then it's like, oh, what do you do here? There must be an important quest item here. Like seriously, that looks like something out of the out of a video game. Someday it'll happen and everyone will rejoice. <laughs> no, really, I swear though, that one swamp tile on the side of the mountain, that looks like something right out of like Dragon Warrior 3 or something. It looks suspicious. <laughs> exactly. So Mr. Holmes has gained a, a large ex, uh, experience lead off of those armored knights. Uh, it's unfortunate Beta Strep got sent back uh, while he was inside Hawks. Didn't get to see the armored knight there. Um, but these enemies are going to get him another level pretty soon, and he'll certainly be back to Hawksness fairly soon. So yeah, question in chat that they already have armor, was that in Cole or Hawksness? It was in Cole, Hawksness was empty, and we do have a cursed belt, another spark over bridge by the way. So we do know that the coordinates are going to be in play, but we don't know what item is going to be there yet. So this has been a very kind seed, um, as far as our memes go. We've got, a, I think we had about three MTI levels and two Sparko bridges and another cave down there. And a lot of bridges and there was a town there below too. So we have the Stones of Sunlight Cave here, one free chest. And with this, we get some money. Two more hurt more dodges by a green dragon on Beta Strep's side, sending him back yet again. It's just unfortunate luck right now. Mr. Holmes on the flip side gets an ax knight and oh, wow. It has Dragon Lord Breath, and his hurt more missed. He's gonna try again here, and he's just gotta hope that this does enough damage to defeat it, and it does. So his does connect, and it's going to be able to explore a little bit more. Meanwhile, Beta Strep now searching down below to the first Sparkover Bridge sighting we found in all the swamp. Another Armored Knight for Mr. Holmes, but it attacks first, and so he's in danger here. He's gonna try it and hope that he takes 23 or less, but Ooh. the hurt more missed. So the luck catching up a little bit on Mr. Holmes' side as well. We've seen some bad luck with Hurtmore on both sides. Yeah, this has been... Did they actually learn Hurtmore, or was this just like, maybe Hurt kind of okay? <laughs> Hurt a lot sometimes. <laughs> so one of these days, Mr. Holmes will get down to that town, and we'll see what it is. Unfortunately, Beta Strep sent home by another Axe Knight. A minimum Hurtmore from Beta Strep, and it just wasn't enough to take out this particular Axe Knight. Yeah, Hurtmore is going to kill the Axe Knights most of the time. I think about 75% roughly. 
I want to say more. Uh, I've had great success just one-shotting them with Hurtmore. Uh, your odds are pretty good, one way or another. And your minimum Hurtmore 58, that can sometimes be enough to take one out. So Mr. Holmes heading back towards where he was before, I believe. Beta Strep is trying to branch out a little bit more and hopefully not get such bad luck as before. So look at this. Wraith Knights also have Dragon Lord Breath. Seems to be a lot of that going around. Yeah, it's a spicy seed. We see their uh, Axe Knights also have the spell of Heal, uh, but they're only 25% to use it. So even when one hurt more doesn't defeat them, they're pretty unlikely to use it. Beta Strep has reached level 8. Gets 8 power, 7 agility, and 4 MP. And, what's that? 0 HP! <laughs> oh, but then he unfortunately is not able to run from the goal and is sent by home. Or sent back home, sorry. So Mr. Holmes, just outside the Stones of Sunlight Cave here, I'm pretty sure does want to check out the town down here. Mr. Holmes still holding on to a bit of an experience lead. It matters slightly less uh, in Hurt More Seeds when you can gain experience just about anywhere you go. These types of seeds generally come down to being all about exploration luck, but we'll have to see what happens from here. Mr. Holmes reaching level 10. It's 5 power, 8 speed, 7 hit points, and 7 MP, and the town of Remolder, we have found some keys. That is definitely huge for Mr. Holmes. Certainly has what we can call an advantage at this time. Beta Strep, meanwhile, finds a the cave. grave. It is the grave. Aha! So Mr. Holmes walking around the town and gets the keys. Beta Strep finds a metal slime, but this one is a little bit shy. So Mr. Holmes stocks up on keys here, and then I assume we'll take a look at the treasure chest and what they have for sale. Yeah, Mr. Holmes will definitely check what's for sale here. Armor could be helpful. Mm. Shield could be helpful. Yeah. He got the death necklace. Some accessories could be helpful. Yeah, the large shield would... Oh, actually, no, he doesn't have enough money for the large shield. My mistake. Okay, well, he might skip the shop then. I don't know. I guess all of these deaths that people have been taking sort of has to do with um, how much money you have. Okay, he's going to at least check what's there. Uh, hasn't... Hey! Oh, wow, an excellent move for Beta Strep on a Metal Slime, and that puts him one enemy away from level 9. So in our chests here, we find some torch, some money, and some more money. Some Unfortunately, torch. not too... Yes, some torch. <laughs> not as exciting for the first three chests in gold here. I was wrong. This Metal Scorpion's going to put Beta Strep seven experience away from the next level. Very close. One more enemy should do it. Look at that Sparko Forest in the middle of the water. <laughs> One little forest tile. How cute. Alright, so moving on, trying to find some new land, new exploration for our runners here. Beta Strep taking level 9, and we'll continue exploring to the southeast. Mr. Holmes does a little bit of a shimmy, just trying to make sure that he actually did find his way all the way up this peninsula. Beta Struck finds a bridge with some new land. Hurtmore has a good, but not guaranteed chance to hit uh, Wraith Knights and Green Dragons, and coincidentally, those enemies both encountered by each here. Um, Beta Strap's luck on Hurtmore's on Green Dragons has just been unfortunate. Ooh. There's no other word for it. It's really, really unlucky, and it's been a setback for sure. So question in chat, what level did they get hurt more at? I believe it was level three that they got it. Yes, indeed. So Beta Strep sent back again. We'll have to go exploring again, and Mr. Holmes just trying to snake his way back up, retracing a few steps to go back and find some new things. Beta Strep now going back into Hoxus. And uh, he does have that 51 HP now. If he wanted to grind Armored Knights, this would be a good time to gain some ground. And of course, um, it it's always not too bad an idea if you want to gain a few if they're very close to start. Just to, you know, in hopes of getting some levels, some people like to grind it out to see if they can get heal more right away. Or just to see if you can get like a few more stats to help you with your exploration. Because you know you're going to need to do the grinding eventually. Of course, Beta Strep will search first. And it looks like he's leaving immediately, so he's got his eye on exploration. He doesn't have keys yet, 
There's a lot he hasn't seen. He wants to get out there and cover as much of the map as he can with his uh, newfound mobility. And question in chat, was Cole before Hawksness? Yes, both runners found Cole first and at about the same time, actually. And then with their armor, I believe the two of them both had the same plan. Um, when they were sent back to Tantagel Castle, they both decided to search this swamp right beside it with the armor, which made a lot of sense. Beta Strap now double checking the shop in Breconary. He has a lot of money, uh, definitely enough for chain mail, and I'm sure he'll get that. They uh, have the armor. Why do I keep forgetting <laughs> about the armor? Erdrick's armor. I don't think I've ever done that in a race, but I know it's happened to people, and we don't want that to happen here, although Cole is close by. I don't think I've personally sold the armor, but I know sometimes I've tried to sell it, and then they offer me one gold for the sword, and I'm like, wait a second, this is a bad deal. Oh, I've done that. <laughs> Another spark over bridge right there. I think we saw this one already, but, you know, I'm still happy that it's there. Spark over bridge is going to all sorts of different tile sets today. <laughs> Two. Mr. Holmes now confident enough to chop away at a wizard, and if he's successful, this will give him level 11. Got uh, potentially two more swings here, and that is it for the wizard. All right, so let's see what we get from level 11. You know, other than the courage and wit, that's guaranteed. Seven power, zero agility, one hit point, and 12 MP. The MP is just skyrocketing, and this is going to mean... Uh, it, it increases the chances that players will get a level on the way down if they're short on strength, because uh, the MP stat could potentially be so high they just don't need to gain anymore. Alright, so Beta Strip, I think, is seeing some new land that neither of us have seen yet. I don't believe we've really explored north of Sherlock Castle yet, so let's see what the secrets are over here. Trying to run from a red dragon, though, and unfortunately is sent back home because that's what red dragons do. It hurts to be sent back so much in the first 20 minutes. Uh, you can see the death counter beta strips is more than double Mr. Holmes at the moment. Yeah, I think a lot of the deaths have had to do with just hurt more not connecting, though with the red dragon that's not the same concern. Still, they will police all of your fun. I'm happy to say I successfully hurt more to Red Dragon, but it was entirely by accident. That has happened to me actually as well, the accidental hurt more actually connecting. So Beta Strip actually might be on the way over to the town of Remolder here if we are able to survive. Tilo Tilo making a great point. We're seeing why this game is called Dragon War. There are plenty of dragons, so Mr. Holmes has found the grave himself. We do know that the top three chests aren't very exciting, but we'll see if Mr. Holmes decides to go to the bottom. And actually, now that I think of it, Mr. Holmes has had keys, but I don't think I've seen him back to Tantagel yet to check out the treasury, right? Right. So interesting. It's interesting. Sometimes you just don't think about that. Your, your mind is on exploration, and if you get keys, you start to think, well, you know, I have everything, now I gotta find all the key locations. And it just might not occur to you to uh, to visit the basement. The key locations. That's right. Beta Strap has reached level 10. Still proceeding forward nicely. Meanwhile, Mr. Holmes has opened the grave chests, and they are not very interesting. We already knew, I believe they were two gold and some torch, as one commentator said earlier. Beta Strap having better luck against that Wraith Knight. This hurt more, guaranteed to connect against a Magic Wyvern. The most valuable one-hit guaranteed kill by Hurtmore in the game. And I know that Sparrowcover Bridge. I'm pretty sure we are right around the corner from the Stones of Sunlight Cave and Remolder just south of that. And the town is on screen. I don't know if he saw it right now, but once he leaves, he'll see it down there. So it looks like Mr. Holmes is headed down to the bottom of the grave. Let's find out what the last two chests are. The question chat, who will the winner of this race face next? It will be against Lorgon. Lorgon sizing up the competition in chat. <laughs> and Beta Strap has entered Remolder and will be buying keys shortly. Mr. Holmes, I believe it's about one enemy, possibly two, depending what, away from the next level, level or level 12 rather. Poltergeist will not do it, especially if it runs. Neither will the slime. Okay, Sparko, calm down with your one enemy away sentences. I don't know why, but the image of Tov running past the ever-patient Orwick there just makes me giggle inside. <laughs> <laughs> it was really nice, and Orwick was wearing the same color clothes as Tov. 
I mean, it probably brightens his day. I mean, you know, if he's just standing there waiting to meet somebody, and then a dog runs by, he's like, nice, puppy. So anyway, one power, eight speed, one hit point, ten magic, and a new spell is the present of level 12. Looks like it was the spell of outside. Mr. Holmes now out of magic. He's going to try and two-shot this Wraith Knight, and he is strong enough to do it. Let's see what's in the Remolder shop once again. There is, of course, that large shield that Beta Strep can afford. And so Tobe straps it to his back and carries on. Meanwhile, the cursed bell chest in the grave had a hurt in it, so Mr. Holmes keeps going down. Will the grave be an entire dud? Well, we'll find out soon, hopefully. Oh, and my other Nick got exactly what it reminds me of, that one Tantation Nord's Cave. Totally looks like the same thing. Very good call. I knew it reminded me of something. So Beta Strip finds the dead end and now will be replacing his steps. Meanwhile, Mr. Holmes makes it down to the bottom chest and finds the wings. There is nothing important inside the grave. No outside spell, so I wouldn't be surprised well, to see... Sorry, there is an outside spell, but there is zero MP. That is what I meant. No MP, so he's probably gonna look for a death warp here. Uh, but I don't know, he put a torch on. Maybe? I don't know, maybe he's gonna try and exit. He is fighting this rogue scorpion to win, and he knows he's gonna be heel walking. I'm honestly not sure yet. Magiwyvern, uh, well, it's got hurt, but when it attacks it can do a little more damage, potentially. No, it doesn't look like Mr. Holmes wants to death warp right now. But I'm just, I'm not 100% sure yet. Oh, Magic Wyverns also have stop spells, so <laughs> this is not an enemy to take a death. Yeah, that's not something to, you know, try and kill you. It will not work that way. So either I guess he'll walk his way out or he'll just find something that can do it. We know that the Wraith Knights have the, it was either, yeah, it was the Dragon Lord Breath, so this is a good candidate. I mean, also a good candidate for getting experience, but... I still don't know for sure if Mr. Holmes is going to death warp or not, but I, because he is just, he seems like he's walking out, but uh, it, he really does want to fight those enemies. They're still giving him good value for his time. So it looks like um, Beta Strep has now returned to the grave and will be making the trek down to the bottom to also find the disappointment of the two bottom chests. But that's easy for us to say when we know what's in there. With Beta Strep not knowing what's down there and having it be the only location that he knows about, it's- I wouldn't call it a bad play. It turns out Metal Scorpions also have Dragon Lord Breath. Beta Strep finding out, unfortunately, by not being able to run away from one. He is, of course, going to take a swing at this Metal Slime, and it all comes down to bravery. So we've got the stats up for the Metal Scorpions up here. It looks like we've got 75% to heal and 25% Dragonlord 2 Breath. That makes sense that we haven't seen it so much. Beta Strep's got a chance at this Metal Slime here. And he got it! Alright, so nice little boost for Beta Strep as well. Meanwhile, Mr. Holmes has made it back to Tantagel. That Metal Slime gives level 11 and we'll probably see Mr. Holmes check the treasure chests now as well as the basement. And yep, good point in chat. That was indeed a brave metal slime. Now, Beta Strip's going back up to the treasure chests. I wonder if he just wants more gold for something, but... Or maybe he wanted to try and make a gold grind happen. Maybe that was the thing. But unfortunately, the Hex Knight is kind of rude and said no. Unfortunately, I missed the first um, chest of the treasury, but I saw an herb, a key, and the silver harp. Silver harp, an important item, of course. And now Mr. Holmes is on his way to the basement. Uh, Beta Strip will do the same. There wasn't a gold chest here, I don't think. But there is a possibility for the... Basement. Um, the basement, yes. The cave in the basement. So much magic in this seat. Again, a, gr a very strong candidate for uh, diving for the final level. On the other hand, they're only, like... They're only at level 11 and 12. They already can do more than one damage to the Dragon Lord. There might not be much grinding to go at all once they've found everything because they have hurt more wherever they go. 
And so it looks like we have the mountain cave in the basement here. So five more chests, which means we actually probably have a decent chance of getting a gold grind out here. And both players are going to be able to see that chance for themselves. Now, that said, I don't know if we've actually seen a silver shield, but even a bigger weapon might be something we want to consider. We also haven't seen Cantlin, and uh, as I've said a few times before, I always just assume that I'm going to get everything in Cantlin. Three shops is a lot. And they don't have to grind for armor anymore, so I, I could see them both uh, doing a flame sword silver shield grind. So our first chest is the herb. And yeah, a point being brought up in chat here, Mr. Holmes walked into the castle, and he did not go into the throne room, so he is not going to be able to make a gold grind out of this. I did not think of that. He's got two hits on another metal slime. Or rather, yeah, sorry, I miscalculated that. If the, the very final chest that he opens could be one. Mr. Holmes successfully defeats his second Metal Slime of the Seed. His first and... well, it wasn't his first kill, but it was close. So in our next two chests, we have some gold. And some fairy water. I mean, I could try and say it's one fairy water, but it's probably a bottle of it. So Stones of Sunlight are the next item. So two of our key items have been in the castle here. And as mentioned, we know where the token is. And what's our grindable chest? Beta Strep is going to be able to grind gold on the western chest. He's going to pick this one up oh, first. Oh, well. Wow, the last one also a gold <laughs> chest. It happened. A lucky break for Mr. Holmes, and he's going to get money for a flame sword and silver shield. So wait a second, Beta Strep just got something different from Mr. Holmes. He found the sword Magidrak. What's that? Well, you see, it's a combination of one of the swords and the Magidrake. There isn't room to put both of them. But uh, that is something that happens fairly frequently when uh, when you're doing uh, when you've activated the chest glitch and you get uh, an item like not gold, it will often take uh, something that you can buy at the last word of something you can buy as well as the first word of an enemy's name, or occasionally something ominous like the red. The red. <laughs> so um, Beta Strip also found the Harp Knight. Beautiful, good combination. Sometimes, as well, you'll just get two words that are just like small shield or chainmail. Another level for Beta Strap. Both players now are at level 12. And I didn't see how much money Mr. Holmes got, but the fact that he's out of here so quickly uh, makes me think he only got silver shield money. And so now we have Beta Strap doing the gold grind on the very last chest as well. I was surprised Beta Strap didn't do this on the previous chest, but again, this one is gold and that works out. Yeah, perhaps you just wanted to look at everything first. I mean, you don't want to grind for hard money or something, say, if you already have the Erdrick Sword, perhaps, but... That's reasonable. And there are good enemies here. If he had to walk back, he could have hurt more than another delicious enemy. So delicious. So we'll see what he chooses to grind up to here. I'm trying to think of what was in Brackenray. I don't think there was anything too big as far as um weapons. I know we didn't have a shield there. Definitely looks like he's going to get the full 24-6. Nope. Maybe just some bonus. Perhaps the broadsword is on his mind. So that's it. Neither player electing to get flame sword money. I suppose uh, Hurtmore plays a large part in that. So anyway, we've got Mr. Homeless hitting the next level here with two power, zero agility, ten hit points, eight MP, and a new spell, which is... Stop spell? I think stop spell, unless it was sleep. No, nope, it is sleep. My apologies. If I could read some of this information, that would be helpful. And both players, yeah, you know, my brain is working a little slow tonight. It's got home from, but it's obvious now. Both players are making this decision because they both know an armored knight is in Hawksness, which is really close to a healing location. Perfect grind spot. There is no need for a flame sword in this seed. They'll get Erdrich's sword when they're ready if it's in Charlotte. Alright, so Beta Strep goes back into the town of Cole and talks to our weapon shop. And what are we going to buy? Broadsword? And sells back the copper sword, but no shields here. 
Meanwhile, Mr. Holmes seems to have the exact same plan, goes to talk to the shopkeeper with roughly the same- a little bit less money, but he chooses to buy nothing. Going to take a quick in-trip before proceeding. Aw, they're cuddling! <laughs> I mean, it's a tiny inn. There's only room for, for, for one bed, I think. I'm just trying to figure out which one is the pet. <laughs> Hard to say. So can someone explain why you cast Repel before sleeping? That's cardinality. So the Repel spell uh, is dictated, its duration is dictated solely on how many steps you take. It doesn't matter how much time you take, and it doesn't matter how much you sleep either. So you can cast the spell, get your magic back from sleeping, and still retain 128 steps of Repel afterward. So it's for efficiency. Mr. Holmes winding his way through the tablet cable, see if anything important is here. Of course, he wants to check all the sword, uh, the chests in case Erdrich's sword is on the overworld somewhere. But it is not. So unfortunately for Betastrep, he was sent back home after checking out coal, and that means um, half of his gold was taken away, so he's only got 7,700 now. So silver shield money was unfortunately decimated by that. He does already have the large shield, um, 66 agility. It's on the brink, it's sort of on the fence, the line of where it could go more than high enough or it could not go high enough. It could uh, make Sherlock a little dangerous without the silver shield, but we'll just have to wait and see. So I imagine both players are really gonna wanna start branching out now. Um, we still have to find the token, which, well, I guess it could be in either the town of Garenham or Spot. I think we have all the other chests covered, yeah? If we've seen the Stones of Sunlight Cave, then yes. Yes, yes we have. That was right outside the Remolder town. Yeah, everything else has been opened. But Garenham and Cantlin eluding our players right now, so exploration is still very important. Yeah, I think those are the last two towns for us to find, so either or could give us something. I think the only other cave is the Swamp Cave, other than perhaps uh, the Shrine Cave. Yes, th that is something else we also need to find. And look at that little tiny peninsula. Not quite a spark over bridge, but shoutouts to one. So I think we've got Beta Strep perhaps on some new territory over here. Mr. Holmes as well did have some, but unfortunately it was a dead end, so he'll have to retrace a few steps before we can get back to some new content. Double armored knights on the screen here. So far they haven't been too much trouble now that our runners actually do have some HP to be able to absorb a hit from one. And we've got a town and a cave on Mr. Holmes' side. I believe those are new. And on Beta Strep's side, well, hidden under that um, text window, another spark over bridge. And more desert, the highest, um, the highest enemy encounter rate possible, along with just a whole lot of nothing right now. So we found the town of Garenham here. This whole section here for on Beta Strep's side is empty. So Mr. Holmes finds a silver shield and does purchase it. We could see Beta Strep uh, getting silver shield money back just from enemies. It is possible. Yeah, as long as he's able to stay alive again, that is the bigger issue here. Yeah, but unfortunately on Beta Strep's end right now, it's just a lot of lot of dead ends and being sent home at some very inopportune uh, moments. So Mr. Holmes stays at the inn, and I'm not I'm not sure how many more um how many more places to search on this map are. I'm kind of curious if we're going to see the swamp cave coming out of here and give us some um, some new continent. But first, three chests in the back of the town. What do we find? Oh, the fighter's ring is found. And that's the last thing other than the token. And the sword. 
And the sword. And the dragon scale, which Mr. Holmes actually hadn't purchased one, so now he dons his scale of the dragon. And I believe that has to be the Swamp Cave. That was our last dark one to find. And we are at the top. Let's see if Mr. Holmes chooses to see what happens. Or uh, rather, who is guarding the princess? I want to root for a princess rescue this seed. It looks like he chooses to make a little alley-oop and go back to, t to the outside of the town and see what the cave is over here. And it is indeed the Shrine Cave. Good thinking on his part, too, um, since I believe this was the last other cave to find, he knew that he could make this change pretty quick, so he can be ready to create the Rainbow Drop as soon as he picks up the token. So Beta Strap, in about the same area, finds the town of Garenham as well. Unfortunately, not going to have the Silver Shield money on his side, but now that he does know where it is, that can be a thought for later. Question in chat? No, we have not found the flute or the token, and we do know that it is, uh, that's rather one of them is going to be in the uh, search spots. And the more treasure chests that are open, the more likely the token is to be on that uh, coordinate spot, because the fairy flute could be in Charlotte. So Beta Strep as well picks up his fire fighter's ring and puts it on, and now both runners are looking into the swamp cave. Simultaneous wyverns. Mr. Holmes' experience lead is about 1600 at the moment. And I don't think he's behind in any attributes. And yeah, actually, good point in chat brought up here. Um, we have opened every single chest, so now we know that the search spot is going to be the token because, well, it can't be in Sherlock. So we'll have a fairy flute in Sherlock and the sword as well. So next level for Mr. Holmes, we've got 2 power, 9 speed, 17 hit points, 6 magic, and a new spell, which is Heal More. I really do like Beta Strep's odds for getting uh, Silver Shield money from enemies now. Yeah, as long as you can stay alive, um, I, I think just any natural grinding will bring you to this, to the Silver Shield money. So Mr. Holmes finds the bottom of the Swamp Cave, and we have looks what looks like the edge of the map. I may have seen another cute bridge up there. I see a town right on the bottom of Mr. Holmes' screen, but I don't believe he noticed it. Meanwhile, it looks like it's definitely on Beta Strap's side. Huh. He didn't notice it. I was trying to figure out if he'd been there before, but of course he was through the swamp cave. It was just a little sliver in the distance. I guess possibly he might see it from this side if he goes north enough, but because he can see the top line of that island, I don't think he will. And it looks like he can't anyway, actually. So Beta Strep is the first one to make it into Cantlin. And with the armor, it's no trouble to go inside there, and we'll talk to our old man. May the light be thy strength. Go and search 58 south and 3 west. That's easy to walk if it's on the mainland. Hmm. I don't think we saw a whole lot south of Tantagel, though. It's either going to be very... But I kind of think it might be on the second continent. I don't remember a whole lot beside Tantagel other than Garenham, just south of it. Well, the princess is close by. Come on, princess rescue. So I imagine this continent can't be too large, and Mr. Holmes will probably be finding Catelyn as well soon, but for now, Beta Strep does have one piece of information on top of him. And there's Mr. Holmes finding Catelyn. Meanwhile, Beta Strep reaches level 13. So Mr. Holmes talks to the man and gets the coordinates as well. And again, we've got 58 south, 3 west. And we know our token is going to be there. All 
right, so now we've got all of the pieces of the puzzle that we need right now. Mr. Holmes is probably going to buy some wings and go home right away. Meanwhile, Beta Strip seems to be searching around, but... I think we've seen everything now, haven't we? I think he hasn't seen the Shrine Cave, that's all, but it is on hmm. the mainland. Yeah, I did think he was visible from the town of Garenham, but perhaps I was mistaken by that. So it looks like Mr. Holmes is counting and thinking and trying to see if he can do this, but I really don't think that connects from here, so it's going to be a long walk no matter what. <laughs> Lord of the Synth in chat says, looks like Holmes is setting a signpost. And I mean, hey, that's a totally legitimate way to do things. If you can see across a body of water and you can make like a landmark or something in your head, then, you know, it's you can just walk around there and then count from there after, and it's been done before. It's pretty neat when that works out. I mean, once I had coordinates, they were, I think it was only about 20-ish north of the castle, but they were, it was blocked by mountains, and you actually had to go through the swamp cave and all the way around, and it was easily countable, just very long to get to. So, Ness Cardinality, how do you picture a dog sprinkling fairy water all over its body? Does it, like, put it on the ground and roll in it? Alright. The dog sits back, and with its two front paws, holds the bottle. With its mouth, it uncorks the bottle, and then it sort of throws up the water in the air <laughs> right over itself. Some things are just cuter when you picture Tove doing it. So I think Beta Strip is going to be just about done searching this continent now. Mr. Holmes didn't do too much of it, um, so I think it won't be too much more. Tov is a good dog, and I have proof. The word Tov is Hebrew for good. Ah, now we have learned. So it looks like Beta Strip might be looking for a flame sword at this point. It's not uncommon for people to be happy with the large shield, and if you've got exactly enough for the flame sword, and you know that the, um, Erdrich's sword is in Sherlock, getting a flame sword if you can, can be a pretty good move. Even if you know your grind enemy is going to be hurt more. And there is a flame sword in the bottom shop of Canlan, and Beta Strep does make the purchase. So yeah, I, don't, I think the Silver Shield dream is over for Beta Strep, but again, the Large Shield, it's not as bad as it can be made out to be. It's got a good chance of being enough. The next level is going to give him 9 agility, that's... So Mr. Holmes here, um, I'm not entirely sure if he is going to be able to find that piece of land he's looking for from this side, but it does look like he is looped back a lot. Now Beta Strep, if he does choose to go use the outside spell from here, um, I wonder if he's going to see the um, shrine cave from the outside, but it looks like he might preemptively rescue the princess, so... Hopefully for his sake he will see it when he gets back to the town to go through the swamp cave again, if that's the case. So Mr. Holmes winding his way around the map over here. Will we find the land that we're looking for? Oh, it looks like he is going to the Swamp Cave, actually. And Beta Strep here, fighting the Golem without the Heal More spell, just sort of hoping to be able to out-herb the Golem while it has the, um, Dragon- the- rather, the regular Fire Breath. But he gets an excellent move on it. It's still not enough to kill it, but I feel like with this attack here, he should be safe, and he does defeat the golem. Hmm. 
very tough to fight that when you don't have heal more. Golem can hit for so hard, but with the small fire breath and the stop spell, that definitely helps. And now, are you ready to see one of the best sprites ever? <laughs> Amazing. I'm not sure if you've seen it before, but I really appreciate that. Just try to picture the physics of that. Just riding a puppy. That is so amazing. Isn't that the cutest thing? No, from the back view, it looked like Tove was carrying oh. the princess. <laughs> Standing on the hind legs. Now, I was wrong. You cannot see the shrine cave from here, but if Beta Strip just went up just a little bit... <laughs> he is not, though. I believe he's going to be looking for wings in this shop. Um, or maybe he's just replenishing his herbs. Um, but you can't buy the wings here, so... If we can just will Beta Strap to look up north just a little bit. But it looks like he's in for a little bit of a walk. And there on the map is the Shrine Cave for Beta Strap. I love that sprite. That is so cute. And with that, the, um, the Silver Harpies exchange for the Staff of Rain. Question in chat, is there really a Has Princess version of every hero sprite? I believe there is. I'm pretty sure there is. Um, but yeah, they're not quite as great as the princess riding a puppy. Alright, so meanwhile, Mr. Holmes has defeated the golem and has gone around and rescued Gwalin as well. I'm not sure I've seen Healy with the princess before. So Beta Strap, I'm um, actually heading back into the swamp cave. I'm curious um, if he is choosing to just walk back to Cantlin so he can buy some wings. That probably honestly is the fastest way home from now. Question in chat, uh, as far as which dog this is, this is the Dragon Warrior 4 dog, Tov. A very good dog indeed. So Mr. Holmes does have a little bit of an easier time here fighting the golem with the heal more spell. Beta Strap has found the other side of the cave again. I, I just want to assume that he will be purchasing the wings from Catlin and we will be seeing um, going home very, very soon. Boy, that dog with Princess Sprite is just mesmerizing. I can't stop <laughs> watching them walk. Anyway, Mr. Holmes has just hit level 15. has a lead of about 2,200 experience points right now. Yeah, it's a full level lead and uh, likely to stay that way. Uh, well, if if the lead is maintained, uh, it'll be, they'll be about one level apart. And that means uh, Beta Strap's best chance to win here is if there are a series of small gains around where it's possible to beat the Dragon Lord. And then perhaps he could go at a level where Mr. Holmes decides to gain another one. Everything else is fairly equal here. It's good that Beta Strap found the shrine. Both players. I yeah, I think this is the spot. Yeah, it looks right. So it it's actually a so close yet so far sort of situation here. It's funny how both players have the princess at the moment and have spent so much time without bringing her home. And of course, Mr. Holmes doesn't have to now. Yeah, if he's successful here, we might just be lucky enough to see the princess being carried around until the end of the game. So Beta Strap has returned the princess home. Why is he doing that? Well, when you return the princess home, you get what we call the GPS, which allows you to uh, get information about how far you are away from the castle, and that is a means of telling where 
the coordinate spot is in this case, which has Erdrich's token, so it's necessary. Mr. Holmes is going to be able to count it out. He gets the token, and he will be carrying that princess, uh, he hopes, for a good long while. Yeah, very good job on Mr. Holmes' side. It's very important to be able to identify, um, you know, spots like that where you can count over the river. So Beta Strep will be able to get to the token very rapidly. I'm seeing a lot of green on uh, Mr. Holmes' side, but the strength is just not quite there yet. Everything else is really solid. And this will be interesting. I've seen uh, Mr. Holmes in a lot of races, types of situations. He will strongly consider uh, finishing a level on the way down. He has enough MP, he has enough HP. Uh, just uh, looking for a little bit more strength. I don't think he'll do it on this level. You can see he's going for Armored Knights right now. But the next level, it's a possibility. Yeah, it all depends on what the final numbers come down to. Beta Strep, meanwhile, going through that swamp cave, preparing to get the token. He'll use the GPS immediately to see how far away he is. And so the next level will be at 9750. How many armored knights is that? Uh, I didn't see how much experience he has right now. Oh, there we go. Uh, so it looks like 9 or 8. It's very important math to do. Of course, you know, calculate the number of enemies in Hawksnets you need <laughs> to defeat before getting your next level. It's going to be pretty swift, though, I think. With the Hurt More spell, and now, of course, lots of HP to, you know, give you some extra padding. It'll be a fast process for Mr. Holmes, and Beta Strop will be right behind that with the, you know, after he does his turning things in as well. I'm trying to remember where the jerk was. I think it was just sort of not too far away from home, just a tiny bit of a walk. We know the token is just down in this desert, and Beta Strep has it. Once he discards something. He almost has it. First we must drop. He has two wings, but he seems <laughs> reluctant to give them up. Well, I assume he'll be using one right. There we go. Meow, meow. The wing sound. And so it looks like Beta Strep is going to be getting the... Uh, the rainbow drop right away. Oh, and that's right, it was the first cave right here that we had saw earlier, so Beta Strep was able to turn in the Staff of Rainstones of Sunlight and Idric's token and get the rainbow drop. And I imagine it'll be straight to Hawksness from here. And then he went somewhere else! Oh, I wonder where he's going. I'm curious what his plan is, maybe he thinks I'm not sure, unless he wants to grind on the golems in the other cave. Oh, he hasn't been through Tablet Cave yet. He wants to double check it. Huh. Remember, he had found it early on and then opted not to go through it, I believe, any torches at, at, at the time. I remember that happening. Well, he's got outside, so it's just a quick walk in. Yeah, and of course, you don't want to not check this out if it's your only unturned chest. Nice and close by to where he was, this was not a hassle. We, meanwhile, Mr. Holmes just a couple armored knights away from the level. Um, not gonna get it on this amount of MP though, so... I think we'll probably just have to wait a moment and see what's next. Oh, actually... Beta Strip also hasn't been to the bottom of the grave, so... He actually does have a little more homework he wants to do before um, settling into the grind. Can't blame him for being thorough. There are Axe Knights here, and this one is going to give him level 14. Hmm. So Mr. Holmes takes his death. Goodbye, princess. He definitely wanted that. I mean, it was still most optimal death work for the heal. But uh, it's just an added bonus that you won't get the princess dialogue at the end. So where does the princess go after um, after you die? The princess goes back to the swamp cave just as treasure is returned to its treasure chest if you lose it. Like if you were to sell Erdrich's sword, it would be back in its original chest. So like those treasure chests, the princess can be retrieved once again. What happens if you sell Erdrich's sword but it was in the starting three chests? Oh, then you're in trouble. <laughs> I, I would never want anyone to do that. 
So anyway, this Armored Knight will give Mr. Holmes the next level. Let's see what he gets here. Is it time? Four power, three speed, 13 hit points, and one MP. And of course, the, the spell of return. So that is not going to be enough. He still needs about 21 attacks to win. And with 13 heal mores, that is not enough. And uh, it looks like he's not even considering the option of diving. Uh, I suppose the fact that he has a copper sword will uh, will uh, play a part in that decision. But these armored knights are really efficient, and he's gonna blaze his way to level 17. Yeah, I mean, fighting your way down can be very, uh, very appealing. However, you really don't want to be doing that when... If you're just a little bit too worried, or if you don't even know what's in Sharp, and when this is a very fast fight, you're probably not losing too much more time versus fighting on the way down. And yeah, as noted in chat, thank you very much. Um, apparently Mr. Holmes has the hand axe instead. He probably stole it off of one of these Arbor Knights. It's very possible. It's not possible, <laughs> but I wish it were. In later on um, Dragon Warrior games, you actually can find weapons from enemies. Yeah, they started that in Dragon Warrior 2, and it's been a trend ever since then. Alright, Ness Cardinality. So, the armor guy is holding a hand axe. What kind of shield is that? Well, it doesn't look silver, but it's the same color as the axe. I want to it's got to be at least a large shield, <laughs> but it's it's hard to say, you know, he might not be able to afford a silver shield. Yeah, it takes a lot of time to grind. The wax knights are pretty strong, or rather, armored knights. I think the consensus seems to be a large shield. So anyway, Beta Strep has found his way to the bottom of the grave and unfortunately finds that the sword is not down there. So with all of the homework done now, I believe it's going to be grinding time for Beta Strep as well. We're going to see a lot of Armored Knights. So 12,000 for the next level for Mr. Holmes. Very close to that already. Armored Knights go very quickly, though he is going to have to go heal before the next so yeah, another juncture where he has the option to try and finish the level on the way down. But I suspect he's going to complete it here, uh, just in case there's no power from it. What do you think? How much more power are you hoping for for the next level before you fight the Dragon Lord? Me personally? Sure, I like you. Tell me your opinions. Well, let's see. There are uh, 14 heal mores, so we want basically 12 attacks to win. Um... I guess my brain is going through the possibilities <laughs> slowly. I mean, really, you just want to hope for a 20, 20 strength gain and be like, yes, it is time. I, I want like 15 more. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens here, too. Another um, thing to think about is their age a little bit higher to the point where you can start to consider double attacks as well. That's true, and that means you can afford to take less power. And in a race situation, I would be perfectly happy uh, going at a level where I'm basically relying on a double attack if I have 120 plus HP, especially with that silver shield and decent agility. Yeah, it's not going to be quite the same amount of decision on that side on Beta Strap's side because he does currently have the large shield. Alright, well, I think while we're busy, you know, just showing the Axe Knight, or rather the Armor Knights, whose boss is here, we should probably take a moment to thank the team who's helping us out here. So tonight, we have got Lord of the Synth doing the restream for us tonight, thank you very much. And for tracking, we've got Mishir Slime, and on commentary tonight, we've got Ness Cardinality. And Sparkover. Nice, thank you very much for being here, everybody. And as well, please be sure to give our runners a follow. Uh, Mr. Holmes and Beta Strap are both very good runners, and they are putting on a lovely show for us. And just again, thank you very so much for everybody being here with us tonight. It's lovely to see so many people showing up for the tournament races. 
Up to NG once again reminding me just how tired I am. I was trying to calculate my chances with only 12 attacks, when in reality we have 16 or 17 if we go first, even more if we get double attacks. Mr. Holmes doesn't need much more power at all. 15 did not sound right, and I was just confused by what I came up with. Well, let's see what we do get. And we can assess the situation, so we get, ah, 13 power, 3 speed, 7 hit points, 5 MP, is that another heal more? So that's it. Yeah, with a very, you know, swift cast of return. It's time. Though Mr. Holmes has not gotten his rainbow drop yet, he has to go on a short little- And with that, he visits the jerk, gets his rainbow drop, and casts return so he can go back home. Up to NG using the quick Breconary heal nearby rather than death warping. It's beta strip. What did I say? You said up to NG. Strike three, I am a tired Nest Cardinality. So we're going to make sure the Nest Cardinality gets a good night's sleep after tonight. How about tonight and not after tonight? I, after the race, I meant yes. It's your bedtime, mister. After the race. So brave Healy on his way to defeat the Dragon Lord. Meanwhile, Tov going back to the good grind. But first, we have something very important to discuss here, and that is, where's the sword going to be? Where do you think, Ness Cardinality? Where are you putting your vote? I am definitely going with Charlotte. You know what? what? You're probably right. I like my chances. Anyway, Mr. Holmes uses the rainbow drop to make the rainbow bridge. And I am going to put myself on team middle middle with CD Improv. So we've got six chests in the bottom, and then there is the one vanilla chest that is a very long walk, well, a relatively long walk away, where the chest is in vanilla. Meanwhile, Beta Strap has hit level 15. We know he's still going to want to be grinding a little bit more before we start to decide to go down to the Sherlock basement. Now, Mr. Holmes could win here without the sword, but, uh... He doesn't have the flame sword, so that's not an option he's considering. He's got to get Erdrich's sword with the hand axe in hand to win. Yeah, you really want to be at least, like, you know, defense breaking a whole whack of enemies if you're going to be um, trying to fight your way down. But at the same time, with the hand axe, it's not always the same unless you really want the experience. So far, though, looks like it's going all right for him in terms of the encounters. I'm trying to think if we've seen all of the Sherlock enemies, and I believe we have. We do remember that the, or rather, the Axe Knights had the Dragonlord Breath. Golems were big softies. Actually, maybe we haven't seen a Stone Man. I can't remember a significant one, at least. I didn't see a Stone Man. I didn't see a Demon Knight, either. Is that because you encountered one in a cave? No, I'm, I mean in this race. <laughs> I yes, I it's the demon knight in the dark is a sprite that you do not see in vanilla, and the demon knight. Oh, hey, there's the stone man. The demon knight is an all black sprite, so when you see it in a cave, nothing appears. The very first time I saw that, I was so happy. It was an amazing thing. I remember that it took a couple races before we finally found one in a cave. <laughs> so, question in chat: Can you beat the dragon lord with a hand axe? Yes. Is it recommended? No, unless you got like maybe 40 strength or something from a level, because the difference from a hand axe to Erdrick's sword is so large, you would really need to have um, the giant, a giant strength gain to make you not get Erdrick's sword. Now granted, it has happened. The best possible circumstance for something like that happening is in a seed where you don't learn heal more until level 16. Sometimes you get big strength gains and you just don't need a strong weapon to beat the Dragon Lord by the time you get heal. Yeah, and sometimes people just fight the Dragon Lord with a club. You'd see me pointing to myself if there were, you know, commentator cam. It's happened in legitimate <laughs> races. And I'm sure it was a situation very much just like that one where there was a giant um, strength gain at the end. So we go down to the basement where it actually is lit up very nicely and we get to see where the sword and possibly the bonus fairy flute is. I'm going bottom left. I, I thought you went Sherlock. 
I win! Nice job. You were also right with your first guess, but your second guess was even more accurate. <laughs> Spark over can verify that I had no- <laughs> it, it is- it is true. We- we did not know where it was. So, Mr. Holmes now is just going to be walking his way around the- the, you know, around the basement of Sherlock, and then that's it! He has nothing to do before fighting the Dragon Lord, right? Well, there's one more little detail, which... Oh? It's not that exciting. He's gotta fight what we call the mini ball. Uh, McGrew put uh, an enemy in the way, a permanent tile, before the Dragon Lord that you have to fight to pass. Uh, for all I know, it could have been uh, programmed so that it was the enemy that was in front of Cantlin. I believe it was! So that works out nicely. Yeah, Catlin actually used to be in the Big C, except the Big C was actually more of a U because it was sort of rotated, but... I, I don't know why he turned it sideways, but I do like it. It's, it's nice that it's a C for Sherlock. It's the Big C. Anyway, let's find out what our enemy is here guarding the Dragon Lord, and it is the Golem. Where's your fairy flute now? <laughs> but we do know the Golem is a big softy with both the uh, um, baby breath and the stop spell, so... Probably not too much to worry about. Well, this one's a little spicy, but if, still. If Mr. Holmes had, uh, had won two, two attacks ago, he just would have walked to the Dragon Lord, but now it looks like he's got to use an herb. It'll just be one herb, and then he will go and fight. So it looks like Golem at 25% stop sell and 50% fire? Yeah. I was wrong. He used two herbs. Why not? He probably thinks he has some very good odds in this fight, and, well, yes, he does. It makes sense. Uh, it's, it's faster this way. He might not use any herb now. He might as well heal up before the battle. And good point up brought up in chat why the big C was actually rotated, because there's no vanilla north-south bridge in DW1. Ah, the bridge. Ah, so unfortunately, Mr. Holmes does take a back attack from the Dragon Lord, but is able to do an attack for 10. Would you like to do some math? He's going to need uh, 13 attacks to kill it on average, or 14 to cover the spread. What was the first stack? 10? It was 10! So we've got 27. Wow, I could have added those together. So yeah, with uh, with 14 heal mores coming in, Mr. Holmes is a lock for this battle. He's up to 41, and uh, it's just a matter of how quickly it'll go. Meanwhile, on the other side, Beta Strap has just hit level 16. 50 damage on Mr. Holmes' side. And, uh, again, you can't blame, uh, Beta Strep for doing this. It is the right decision. Oh, definitely. There is no way you'd want to risk going in at this level here on his side. There's a minimum for Mr. Holmes. He's now done 67. And he's not the slightest bit worried by those minimums. He's got so much leeway right now. 76, another low roll, but he's not worried yet. Still a pretty safe fight. <laughs> he's still way ahead. 87 now. And he gets a double. 97. So question in chat, is this a single elimination round? Yes, it is. Best of three are going to be starting for the semifinals after this match. Well, not directly after, but in the matches after this. That's 121 damage. So on average, we're three attacks away. And we've got four heal mores. I like this math. 130. Dragon Lord can start with between 150 and 165. It'll be the same for both players. 141. Next attack could do it, but it's likely it'll take two more. One fifty-four, and Mr. Holmes gets a double, so he can take the attack. That will do it. Mr. Holmes advancing to the semifinals. He is the victor in this seed. Get out your GGs. Yep. So Mr. Holmes will be moving on to face Lorgon in the semifinals. Congratulations to Mr. Holmes. He finishes in first place with an official SRL time of 1 hour, 12 minutes, and 12 seconds.
be seeing if he wishes to come in for an interview. Looks like Beta Strep is not too far away from the next level. Still just getting away at all the Armored Knights. And you'll probably be relieved to see that the next level will be the one to go. Uh, yeah, there were many ways that the seed could have gone, you know, in different directions. So Mr. Holmes definitely did, um, he was able to find some things a lot faster and just made a strip. Did also, I think, had a little more on the end of bad luck with deaths on the overworld. But a very strong race from both players. Even if the experience lead did start to take the difference, I feel like their exploration wasn't too far apart. It was very close when the two of them did find, um, the last pieces of the puzzle. Though so Mr. Holmes, um, with his exceptional counting from being able to see the other continent from the north, or rather the south of the castle. That definitely helped pay off for him as well. Beta Strep, just on the tail end of this level, uh, it looks like it's only going to be two more Armored Knights after this one, and then uh, he will see exactly what he's expecting based on uh, seeing Mr. Holmes finish that this next level will be more than enough to win the game. Yeah, there's always a lot of metagame in that. If you're sitting there grinding and you see people, you know, dot done, especially if it's a big race with many people, you think, well, this next one has to be the one to go. I think I let that affect me a little bit more than I should. <laughs> and it appears we have Mr. Holmes in the commentary booth with us. GG, sir. GG. Oh, man. I... I got so lucky. Like... It's hard to explain how lucky I got that seed. I'm sure you guys did a pretty good job of that, though. How are you feeling? I'm feeling sheepish, to be honest. Like, honestly, as soon as I got that metal slime, I was just thinking of calling a reroll, but... It's like, you know, like it, it wasn't gonna work. Like, Beta wouldn't have accepted, but... I just felt really, really bad because I knew that gave me a huge advantage. Even with the scared metal slimes flag on. Yeah, I actually, um, we, neither of us were aware that it was scared metal slimes, um, so that was, we, you know, we had a few people telling us, hey, they're scared, but now they're brave. There was some good luck in terms of, or some good news in terms of luck for Beta Strep's side. Hurtmore was the spell learned at level three, so it actually wasn't that bad. Okay, yeah, I was wondering about that because it's hard to tell when I got, like, four freaking levels at once. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I also found the armor super early, which was like, it was like literally the first place I explored, which I thought was kind of ridiculous. Well, actually, the two of you were in coal getting the armor at the exact same time. Well, that makes me feel less good about myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't want to make you feel less good. I'm just comparing things. Um, things definitely did branch out a little bit more after that, though. Um, Beta Strep had some... Very bad hurt more luck early on, um, and I and definitely took um, double the deaths that you did, and a lot of them early on just seemed to sort of cut off the exploration. I think you found just about everything else first, uh, other than Cantlin. Good old Cantlin. So but I, I did carry the princess to the coordinates, that was something. <laughs> yes, I was just about to say, um, you're counting that you could go south from the Tantagel, or rather you could see south from Tantagel. That was very impressive. Very, like, that definitely saved you a lot of time. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't 100% sure if that would have been accessible land, but I kind of picked out a landmark there. And I also decided, after going halfway through the Swamp Cave, you know what? I've done this so many times where I've messed it up. I'm just going to go... A little backtrack, grab the princess just in case it doesn't work out. That way I can just do what I need to do and have insurance. Yeah, it was a very good plan. And fortunately for you, you know, plan A was the one that worked. Yeah, well, I guess plan A was me counting correctly. But the place I counted to was actually a water tile. So I just picked the one next to it and like, hey, it's the token. 
Not entirely sure what I did there. Well, you did a good thing. Hooray! Well, very nice job. You are moving on to um semifinals, and you're going to be facing Oregon. The not single elimination round. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It'll be best of three. Yeah, that's so much less stressful. Single elimination is just brutal. Just brutal. Yes, it is. But Especially I mean, when you can't kill something for an hour, am I right? Hey, it was 40 minutes. <laughs> no, I'm sympathizing with you. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't fine. this sound like sympathy? Or does this just sound like my normal voice? Both are possible. Sounds like a lovely Mr. Holmes voice. Fair enough. I, I almost got bit by my lack of mapping once when I was trying to refine the Swamp Cave. And despite the fact I knew I was clearly going the wrong way, I don't know why I kept walking for like a hundred more steps into some random area I'd never explored. Believing. Just like, maybe it'll loop around <laughs> to this thing that I know is a dead end. Anywho, where's uh, Beta Strip at right now? Beta Strap has, um, during our conversation, reached level 17 and is just winding his way down Sherlock Castle. Just a couple more floors to go. Um, he doesn't have the sword yet, though, but he does have the flame sword, so... Um, okay, that's that's pretty sweet. I definitely was wondering whether I should have gold grinded for that. I mean, I wasn't even thinking of gold grinding, to be honest. Um, I, like, I originally thought about trying in the grave, but then... Nothing was killing me, even like a Magiwyvern was just hurting me. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna walk to the first floor, maybe I'll die to an Axe Knight. And then the Axe Knights didn't show up, so it's like, okay, let's just keep going and mm -hmm. worry about it later. And then you ended up getting the lucky gold grind on the very last chest in the mountain? Yeah, that was, that was another pretty big fluke, to be honest, and let alone holding that gold long enough to get into, what was it, Grinham that had a silver shield? Yes. And so, yeah, you actually are the only one who ended up getting the silver beta strip. Did do a gold grind for the silver shield as well, but unfortunately took a death, um, I think close to outside of coal it was. And um, was able to get the flame sword eventually with the half money, but um, yeah, just as the large shield on his side here. Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, I definitely had some good run luck early on. Thankfully, I didn't have any worries after I got my money. Although I had killed a lot of things. I kept getting like Axe Knight, Armored Knight, Werewolf. I was like, man, my 100 MP is all of a sudden at like 20. But thankfully I was able to eventually find a town. Ooh, I've got a question for you actually. Um, I saw you kill two gold men earlier on. Did you look that at all? Or were you just kind of having fun with her more? Well, just in the case of, I thought, especially with low HP, defense is super important. And I mean, it's such a small investment to make. Like, think about it this way, like, it probably costs you like 20 seconds to kill four gold men. Like in time that you would not spend run away. And like, that would get you a half plate, and, which is like 16 defense or whatever it is. So I felt like that, it was just something that might've been useful. Yeah, and then hey. it turns out I found Erdrick's armor, so it wasn't necessary, but why not? So just a quick note here, Beta Strap is now approaching the dragon lord. Uh, he had to burn two heal mores on the way down, but he still has 12, so as someone in chat pointed out, he's, he is still definitely a favorite. He has extra HP for potential doubles. We saw Mr. Holmes get... I know I saw two double attacks for sure. And, well, uh, yeah, hopefully he doesn't get the same kind of damage rolls I got, that's for sure. Oh I God. saw a lot of low ones on your side. I think there was, there was one, I started out 10, 17, and then I just kind of, my eyes glazed over with all the 8s, 9s, 10s, and 11s. <laughs> there were so many 9s in your fight. But Mr. Holmes, uh, or sorry, Beta Strep also answered a question that I know it, but I was keeping a vigilant eye. Is it Where's the Fairy Flute? It is. It's in the top left chest, everyone. Yeah, well, I was... It's in Beta Strep's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, first of all, 
I was kind of distracted. So when I was at level 16, I was reminding myself, okay, when you get the go level, you have to pick up the sword. But I don't have a great attention span, so all I know that happened is I was not thinking about it at all. And then when I went to use the rainbow drop to get in the castle, it's like, huh, I have exactly one key left. Right, I have to get the sword. So like, I don't want to say like I might have forgotten, but I was definitely reminded as soon as I went into Sherlock. Yeah, I'll admit sometimes I have occasionally forgot that the sword was a thing I had to go get. My favorite time was when I got a glitch chest that said Erdrick's sword and I was super pumped. And I was running around for like 40 minutes thinking I had it. And then I went to fight the Dragon Lord with a club and it didn't <laughs> go so well. Oh, oh man. Wow. The old fake out. Thankfully it was in the treasury, but I was able to run away from the Dragon Lord, which was equally comical. <laughs> Alright, so we've got Beta Strap now heading into Dragon Lord 2. He did have to use a third heal more, and Ooh. he gets back attacked as well. But yeah, I, I still think he's a solid favorite here. He's got 12 attacks and the potential for doubles. Alright, I think we need 13 on average, but we'll see. I believe that first one was 14. So now 29. Okay, that's that's like more than my first 10 attacks combined. <laughs> <laughs> Very good start here. Other than the back attack thing. 40. Only taking 32 there, so he's got a shot with 90 HP. He's at 55. He's at 48 HP. He's going to heal more. He knows he's still a favorite here. He's got potential for safe double attacks in the future. And 71, we're starting to see the higher rolls. Yeah, he's getting some very good rolls here now, so very good I, on his side. I feel like the Dragon Lord had bottom half HP, but I'm not 100% sure. We'll be able to find out shortly. Wow, every roll is above average. He's at 102 now. He gets a double. That's 114. Uh, we see now 160 HP on the Dragon Lord. So, a little beefier one, but still. Okay, I must have, again, like I said, my eyes kind of glazed over. Apparently Beta took all my high rolls. That's the conclusion <laughs> I'm coming to. Now at 141, so two more attacks to go, most likely. Commentator's curse! <laughs> <laughs> he's at 150. Uh, oh. He's going to heal more here, of course, and now extremely good odds to finish it off on one attack. He still Eight has nine. a heal more in reserve. He rolls 12, there it is. Damn GG it. beta strep. I mean GG. <laughs> GG do beta strep, who has now taken down Dragon Lord. Unfortunately, will be eliminated from the tournament, but did put up a good race, and it was a lot of fun to watch. Being the last scheduled round of, uh, the last scheduled match of this round, it feels like he finishes in fifth place. So Beta Strap is finished with an official SRL time of 1 hour 12, 25 minutes and 55 seconds. Oh, the princess got back on Tov! Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> that was so awesome! Because Beta Streb did rescue the princess, they get to have Gwalyn riding off into the sunset. I think we all know who the real winner is here. <laughs> yeah, the princess has a new happy pet. Yeah! Beta Strap in the SRL says, I have nothing to say about the seat other than I can't land her more on green dragons. And yeah, unfortunately, we do remember that. It really did seem like a difference maker. We can only wonder how different this could have been if he had landed those hurt mores and gotten levels instead of being sent back in the middle of vital exploration. Yeah, I had a few like missed hurt mores on Axe Knights and Armored Knights, but nothing like the level of what you're describing. This is early on yeah. in the race. There's a cluster of them. 
Yeah, you both. We both saw some bad luck on both of your side, but unfortunately, Beta Strip had the lion's share of the bad luck there. Alright, so we're just waiting on seeing um, if Beta Strep will be joining us for an interview or not. Um, any other thoughts on that, Mr. Holmes, while we're here? I have many thoughts. Share some. Um, apple crumble is delicious. Wow, you are right. I should make some apple crumble. Winter tires are very important. <laughs> Also, a dry sponge is a happy sponge. I, I think Beta Strep's implication in the race chat was that he's not going to be joining us. Yeah, I've I've been there, so I I have no no disrespect whatsoever. Understood. There he is in chat with the lovely Caxon. Welcome, Beta Strep. A valiantly fought race. Uh, we were certainly remarking uh, the terrible luck with the Hurtmores, especially against the Green Dragons. It was really surprising and significant early. Just unfortunate uh, when bad luck strikes. You fought well, and you finished in under an hour and a half still. And it was an entertaining race through and through. So GG to both of you, and thank you so much for entertaining us once again. All right, and thanks, thanks to you too, as always, for for commentary. Well, thank you. I felt you. like there was more to that sentence, but no, there's not. Thank you. It was a it was a sentence. Thank you very much for inviting us to be here. Hooray! All right. Well, I suppose that might just wrap it up for the night then. So, yes, just to conclude, um, Mr. Holmes will be taking on Lorgon in the semifinals, and as well, Thurwolf will be facing up to NG. Um, so those matches will be scheduled whenever our racers are able to... And as a reminder, those will be best of three. So even though we're down to just two matches, um, two head-to-heads, we have a lot of matches coming up for you. So you can please stay tuned in the Dragon Warrior Randomizer Discord and we can let you know when those are. Um, other than that, I believe we are being sent off to Random Mania. They are doing a Final Fantasy IV Randomizer Weekly Race. Any other thoughts, Ness Cardinality? It's going to be a fun semifinals. There's going to be a lot to look forward to next week. Stay tuned and good luck to our four remaining runners. Good night, everybody.